Is there anything no better than gravy and chips? So this is Shepstow Harriers. All the way from Wales. Kaboom! Yes, here I am guys. Good morning and welcome to Hereford, the county town of Herefordshire. And if you are new here, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe and hit that alarm bell because today I'm going to be taking you on a long run, but also it's the Hereford 10 miler. So let's go. Here's something very random for you. If you like my anecdotes, at races I often like to go all guns blazing. Hey, yes, this is the seagull that's guns blazing. Yeah, do you like that? Guns blazing. But not today. It's marathon pace for the 10 miler. So I have to monitor my heart rate and not over egg it at all today um, because it's essential I stick to the plan as much as I want to race hard as I did at the, uh, not the Roman 9 at Stratford upon Avon, which was epic. Did you see those wild deer run across me during the race. I mean, that was incredible. I don't know if anything like this is going to happen today, but uh, let's see what, what unfolds. Here I am at Hereford Rugby Club. For those of you who follow your rugby, you'll know that Hereford Rugby Club is a pretty famous one, yeah, for here in England. So let's go get that bib. As I'm here mega early, I am the only one here picking up my bib. Yes, so today I am number two four four so i'm gonna head over to the changing room get changed get me 10k done let's take you out there now let's go i'm all changed now for my 10k bit i've left my bags in the bag drop area so i'll get changed into my other gear once i've done that so uh, let's do my dynamic warm-ups and let's get moving okay i'm heading up some steps to an area what they call the lines which is a particular trail path and i'm just gonna run up and down here <laughs> until i've done my 10k and there goes the runner already. So here's the path. I think this is where the start will be, somewhere down here. And uh, yeah, so let's get going. God, that was hard work just walking up the steps. I have to say, this is such a nice trail. Being right in the heart of the town, or just outside the heart of the town, and being able to do this is quite fabulous. So I'm enjoying this. That is the 10K done. Oh, well, that's... Uh, Oh, that felt really good. And um, pushing a bit. Now I'm now at the start point of the race. Yeah. Start. So I'm just going to walk back to the rugby club, do some stretching, stay warm, and get ready for the 10 miler. Back in the changing room. Jersey at ready. I've done my uh, cool down stretches, do you call it? I'm not gonna warm up again. So let's get ready and go. So we're now heading to the start. I'm popping my little gel because I've already been out for an hour or so. So I need to get my energy back up. And uh, let's go, go, go. I just suddenly realized that I've been speaking here with Chris and I didn't get him on film. It's okay. How you doing, mate? I'm great. Yeah. Ready for this? Your first 10 miler, isn't it? Yeah, first 10 miler. And uh, yeah, just looking to go out fairly easy and then see how it see Excellent. What Enjoy. Out. Enjoy. So lots and lots of runners here. They're all getting their team photos in. So I'm going to try and squeeze my way towards the frontish, middleish, and uh, yeah. So here we have um, a obligatory team photo. <laughs> A wave to the camera, say hello. You can talk, yeah, it's a noisy one. This. Oops, sorry. This is Croft Amberley Running Club here. Uh, if anyone gets into trouble, um, obviously there are first aiders out on the course, so please let the next marshal know and obviously we'll get to you as quickly as you possibly can. In the rugby club at 11 o'clock, uh, there are teas, coffees, bacon rolls, sausage. Ready? <laughs> Set! Go! Yay! Here we go, Hereford 10 miler! Go, go, go! Although, not so much go, go, go for me today. As I let all the uh, speed bunnies go off. We'll be going at, uh, hopefully, easy marathon pace. Right, let's get into the flow. 
So about a mile and a half in and I think this is the first downhill bit. But yeah, it's just been one constant climb. But it's beautiful countryside here, absolutely beautiful. The sun is out, the sky is blue. Let's go running with me and you. Just past mile three and the field is stretching out now. So the key thing for me is just to remain focused on my particular heart rate, not to get overexcited because it's so easy. I mean, in these Sockany Endorphin Pro 3, it just feels so effortless, just gliding along. Beautiful, beautiful. Just past mile four. On quite a busy road here, but uh, all seems good. So it's just a short section and then we're back onto the country lanes. I'm now running through the famous Herefordshire orchards where they make the cider here, yes. Oh, who remembers those Strongbow cider adverts? Arrow straight down. Ooh. Smells so lovely. And here's a bit of a sharp downhill. Gosh, I positively flew down that hill. And we're now coming up to mile five. Halfway, let's go. Well, I tell you, there's some proper killer hills around here. And this is where I wish I'd put my sweatband on because I'm sweating good and proper now. To mile seven. I'd like to say it feels like heaven, but oh no, this uphill. Whew. My eyes are beginning to sting now with the salt coming down from the sweat. Oh man, and it feels quite lonely here behind the main pack, but ahead of the other pack. I'm in like no man's land, but hey, the glorious sunshine is keeping me going. And it's about 4k left. Three odd miles, I think. Two miles, sorry, two miles. Ish. Here's mile eight. Okay, just past mile eight, so two to go. Shall I push and go? Or shall I go steady? Whew. I can see Hereford Cathedral in the distance. Oh yes. That finish line feeling, although it's still two miles to go. Mile nine, mile nine, mile nine and all is fine. One mile to go, let's go. Finish line feeling and the battery's gone. Oh yes, race done. Just under one hour ten, which I'm really super happy with considering I wasn't pushing it. I did last two miles, three miles, I did uh, push it a bit. I was a bit cheeky there. So I didn't hold marathon pace all the way around, but uh, yeah, super undulating course. Wow, super tough. But I got me water. I'm gonna go inside now and uh, just cool off, get some uh, clothes on, food, drink, replenish myself, and uh, yes, we'll have a bit more of a chat in a minute. Changing area, and I'm with a couple of the Croft Ambry athletes. How'd you get on, guys? Yeah, good, good race. Enjoy? Yeah, yeah, enjoyed it, really good. Good, good. race, bit undulating, isn't it? Yeah, just undulating, managed to. Uh... Get what the, were your get, times? Get the win, what were your times? Close. You got so, the win. Yeah, the fifty-seven wow. forty-eight. So. You are the winner. Yeah, fantastic. <laughs> that that is fifty-seven yeah. minutes on that course. <laughs> you must be really pleased with that. Yeah, yeah it's good. Like, yeah. Uh, so is it ten thousand pound prize money, isn't it? <laughs> I, 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 I hope so. <laughs> anyway, well done, guys. <laughs> so I'm here, sitting down, drinking, 
relaxing. Oh. So that's it guys, the race is complete, the awards are finished and I'm now heading back to the van, walking back along the beautiful river here in Hereford and what a fantastic event that was, really well organised, enjoyed it. Good testing for me in terms of marathon pace, marathon effort. I think I'll need to have a closer look at my Garmin because I think I set it up incorrectly where it was about pace, not effort. Now obviously running um, certain paces, target paces on this course is, is a bit of an ask, shall we say. Um, but hey, I think I was even there, thereabouts. But uh, I did push the last couple of kilometres, so I've got to be honest there. I didn't run the whole 10 miles at marathon effort, but I did keep most of it around 160 beats and below per minute. But the last few miles, I couldn't help myself, you know, just went for it. Legs feel quite fresh. I mean, they were a bit stiff store. Stiff store? Is that a word? Stiff and sore. <laughs> Yes, I put my teeth back in, um, but uh, but hey, when you got this beautiful weather, it's absolutely amazing here, and I'm going to have a, a lovely afternoon here in Hereford. Probably eat food that um, I shouldn't be, but hey, let's go do that. I hope you've enjoyed this. It's just been a little summary of today's long run as a training run, but incorporating a race and running with people and just having a fab day out. So yeah. Let us continue. The journey to London Marathon continues. Apology where I am after a race. Yes. KFC. Got my finger licking chicken. Bit of gravy. What more do you want? Mm -mm -mm. Of course, not forgetting chips in gravy. Mm. Oh. Mmm. Is there anything no better than gravy and chips? Oh. <laughs> 